Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be trying out hacks that relate to art and crafts. All of the life hacks I'll be trying out today, I have found on Instagram. A few of the videos I'll show you, I actually managed to find them on YouTube, because if you know Instagram, you can't rewind anything, which is very frustrating. So originally these were all from Instagram, but I will be showing you some footage from YouTube. So I have gathered a bunch of stuff that I thought might be useful for these life hacks. So we've got sponges, we've got straws, balloons, anything I could think of that might be useful, I've got it here. So let's get into these life hacks and see if any of them are actually worth using. So this first hack calls for a piece of paper or a drawing or something, I assume. Let's just draw a little, yep. So there's actually something on it. So let's pretend this is a drawing and we want to roll it up for transport and we don't have one of those tubes, right? So we're apparently supposed to get a cardboard tube like this and cut it on one side only. Like that. So that's what we're apparently supposed to do. And then we roll the drawing or piece of paper up. Probably isn't the best paper for it, it's waterproof paper, but. Okay, so we've got our rolled piece of paper. And then we're apparently supposed to just put it in like that. I mean, it works. Obviously, it would look better with. Like actual like printer paper maybe like this clearly doesn't work for any kind of watercolor paper I think this would be good for like little kids drawings but it wouldn't work for me as an artist because I use like a certain quality of paper and I wouldn't want to curl my drawing anyway but it technically does work so it's technically a life hack so for this life hack we're essentially making a paintbrush holder I assume this is to stop your paintbrush touching the bottom of the glass and thereby like curling upwards maybe. So I've got my usual paint pot I use. I think it was a soup thing that I just kind of repurposed. Now I went to my garage and I did find something similar to theirs. The only issue is that with mine it's like glued on so I can't just slide it out the same way they did theirs. The main issue is they had it like on the thing whereas I because of that I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it but I'll give it a go so according to their video we just cut it down the middle oh it seems to be coming off Okay, so we've kind, of, we've kind of got it off. Actually, that's not too bad. That's kind of what, that's basically what they had. Now, the way they did it, they obviously had a square pot, whereas mine's round. You know, this could actually work. Okay, so what they then did is they had, like, cuts along it to fit, to fit it in. This feels incredibly dangerous because they just they just did this but your fingers are there you really shouldn't be doing that see i think the best thing to, is to not use a craft knife for this it's just use a pair of scissors you know where the cut is so just don't cut too deep so there we have our Cuts. Now, if I just put this, maybe it works better with square, but <clears throat> I don't use the square thing, so. Alright, okay, let's see if this actually works. I mean, it works. I'd, I'd probably do it this way. Yeah, it does technically work. That's not that bad actually, I kind of like that. That's kind of useful. I guess it doesn't work for brushes that are too long. But you know, 
you don't want to use this brush, you want to use a smaller brush, so you stick it in the, the opening and then you get your other brush. So yeah, I'd say this does work. Now we know it works their way, let's just try and improve it a little bit. Yeah, I mean it does technically work, it's not a bad idea, it, again it would just work better with a square container, but technically a life hack. So this one I am genuinely excited for because it looks quite fun and it could be some nice backgrounds for other paintings. So we've got our paper, we've got our straw, we've got soap, paint and water and that is apparently all you need to do this. So let's put some water in this bowl. Do. Let's go with this yellow first. So I figured I'd do yellow, mix some red to make orange and then mix a bit more to make a darker orange. The only issue is it didn't really say how much paint to use so I'm just kind of going off like visually what they did. Right, so we've got our yellow mixture and then it says to put some soap in. Again, doesn't really say how much so I'm just guessing. Let's just do three. I mean it's already bubbling which is cool. Right. So let's do, let's blow these bubbles. Well that's cool, it definitely works. <laughs> Quick before they all go. No! I think I got some. No I didn't, let's try that again. <laughs> so you have to be quick about it. That's the right, I almost put the... Okay, new straw, new straw. Go, go, go. Oh. Hope that worked. Oh, it worked! That's kind of cool, actually. Let's make a bit of a darker colour. So let's add a bit of red in here. Oh, that one looks really cool. I like that one. Kind of looks like a planet with like loads of other little planets. That one actually looks so cool. I really like that one. So we've got a yellow one and an orange one. Oh my god. There is like orange splatter everywhere. Probably should have worn my apron for this, but never mind. Then let's add a bit more red and make it even darker. Oh, that's so cool! Look at that! It looks really cool! Um, I <laughs> don't know if you can see all the spatter, but this would... This is quite messy. I think it would probably be better to do this in maybe like a bigger bowl, or maybe like... I don't know, because the bowls disappear really quickly. I think that's quite cool. I, yeah, I'll say this is definitely a life hack. I'll give this like a... Like an 8 out of 10, I'd say. Maybe, maybe a 7, because of the mess, like... It, I mean, it's it's art, it's mess, you know, whatever. So I'm going to put these to the side, I'm going to clean this up, and then let's do the next one. For this hack, dead simple. You need an old bottle that has, like, the, like, it's, like, stood up on its end, it's not flat. You need something to have you paint in and paint. That's pretty much all you need for this one. So they put some paint in their little container. Again not really there's no specifications for this okay so got the paint and apparently all we have to do is dip the edges of this bottle in there and then we can make flowers so let's have a go at doing that so i've got my paint on the end now now theirs was like really defined in the middle but maybe it's because of the type of thing i'm using let's have a look I mean, it kind of works. The paper comes up really easily, though. Hmm. I think it's because I've got paint on that middle bit. Let's add some water to this so it's a bit runnier. Right, so we've got some paint that's runnier now, so let's try this again. So I've kind of cleaned off most of the bottle because on theirs they only had the like sticky out bits touching, not the middle. 
think I got that. There you go. So runnier paint works much better. There you go. That's basically what they had. But this is my issue with these craft things on Instagram. They don't really show, like, tell you exactly what they've done. Cool. That definitely works. On their video, they obviously started to make it into like an artwork, which I'm not going to do because that's not the hack. This is the hack. But they definitely look like flowers. I suppose you could even go back in with a different colour and like do it in the gaps. So if you did that in a different colour, you have like two sets of flowers yeah I think that's pretty cool uh, I'd give this I don't know I'd give this an 8 as well it's, it is really cool that you can just do these little flowers and you can even like do lighter ones the more the paint goes like this is a really cool little thing especially for little kids to do so yes let's move on to the next one so I changed angles slightly for this one so you can see more what I'm doing. So this one is using your hands to trace a shape and then make it into something. So they've done a few of these. I'm going to be trying the bunny one because I think it's cute. Also I think it's kind of funny that you're making like a rock out sign and then you're making a cute little bunny. So let's get our pen. Now they did this. Now I originally thought this was flat to the paper which doesn't make any sense. So, but looking at it again, I think they've effectively got it hovering above the paper with the thumb like resting on the paper. So, let's give this a go. I mean, my hand's a lot chubbier <laughs> than theirs was. It's and then they drew like the ear shape. And what did they do? They did two eyes. It's not how I'd normally draw eyes, but that's fine. I assume this is like a little hack for kids who don't really know necessarily how to draw. And an eyebrow. And they did an eyebrow. And then a bit of a weird way to have the eyes, but okay. Kind of like this, and then they left a, a gap. I know they technically use black and what have you, but it doesn't really matter. My black sharpie is like pretty dead, so that's why I'm using a blue. Draw a little nose, mouth, just some cheek dots. And then they had some like little blushies, which I think I actually have a pink for, so I can do the little cheek blushies. And then it did the inside of the ears pink. What else did they do? Oh, he's got teeth. I forgot his, I forgot his bunny teeth. And then he was thinking about carrots, apparently. There we go. I mean, yeah, it worked. Mine looks a little bit shorter in the ears because I have little hands. So I don't know. I'm trying to think of a kid doing this and like a little kid. And I don't know whether they'd have the dexterity. I'm, I'm sure they'd figure it out. Yeah, I quite like that. It's a very quick way to do a little drawing. I did that in a couple of minutes. So from, from a kid's point of view, yeah, I'd give this a solid nine. I'll give this a solid nine because I think it would be really fun. If I was a little kid, I think this was great fun. Right, let's move on to something that might actually help artists out. So this one is fairly simple and it's a little hack for drawing circles. Now, I always basically find something that happens to be close to the same size I want and I just draw around it. But this might actually solve that. So we get our cardboard and we're supposed to cut like a strip off. Okay, so now we've got our strip. We're supposed to take our pencil and then we're supposed to make a hole 
on one side. Okay, so that's gone through and then we make a hole on the other side. I've acquired my other pencil. <laughs> so all we're apparently supposed to do is we put one pencil in one hole and then we put the other pencil in the other hole and then we're just supposed to rotate it round. I mean it's working. I can't believe that worked. I know I've, I've just done a really big circle so you can't see it all but that I can't believe that worked. Let's try let's try a smaller one because that's what they did. Oh my god. Okay. I was <laughs> I like how this is one of those like simpler ones we've tried so far and it's the most useful. This is awesome. That is a perfect circle using some cardboard. Now I know you can have compasses and stuff, but I always used to hate using compasses. I would never use them properly. And also you can only use a specific pencil with them. This works great and it's just cardboard. 10 out of 10. 11 out of 10. This 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 is my favorite so far. This is going to be so so useful. I'm not going to have to like pillage cups from the kitchen to make a circle. Amazing definitely using this in the future so we've got two hacks left both of them are painting hacks and both of them i'm quite excited for because they look quite fun because playing with paint is always fun I'm going to be making a feather out of a comb and paint they do they use like paintbrush to you to do a strip but i'm just gonna blob it out because i feel like that'll be easier i'm gonna try and keep it as long as the comb And we do the stripe of the mm, paler one on top. Let's see what this big comb does. If this comb looks a bit naff, it's because I normally use it for dyeing my hair. <laughs> so it's used to being messy. Ooh, weird. There we go. Actually, it's kind of cool. I actually really like that one. I'll give this. I think this is a solid eight. It's a solid eight. It's pretty fun, and it, you get like a cool feather out of it. If I made like a big bird, maybe I could do loads of feathers like this. Very good. Right, let's move on to the last one, which I'm very excited for. Right, so we're on to our last hack, which I'm very excited for. So we're gonna need to take some of these, and we're gonna put some paint in. And then we're going to put marble in the paint and then we're going to roll it around which sounds great this is the hack that actually got me the idea to do this video i was watching nerdy crafter one of her videos from march i think and she did this hack and i thought a that would be hilariously fun b i wonder what other ones i could try out so you have her to thank for this video I only have the one marble unfortunately, I don't have multiple ones and I'm not going buying marbles just for this. So I will be trying to wash this in between each colour. I'd really like to use yellow because I think it will look really nice like all everywhere. Get some yellow. Blue would be nice. Let's do, let's do blue. Oh I just realised, <laughs> I just realised I'm matching it to the, um, to the colour of the paper cups. And then we may as well do green because it's a green thing. I think this would definitely be fun for little kids. It's basically abstract expressionism. I think yellow would be best first. I should also probably wear a glove for this as well. Not that I not that I mind getting messy, but I want to try and avoid it as much as you can. So, from what I saw in their video. You just take the marble, you put it in the... This feels wrong. You put it in the paint, and then you apparently just drop it in and then roll it around. Ah. <laughs> oh, this is funny. <laughs> this is fun! Okay, this is really cool. I like this. Let's go with green next because it won't affect it being yellow that much. Kind of feels like I'm like, I don't know, icing something. Oh! 
<laughs> Wee! Wee! There we go, cut most of it off and let's do blue. I love getting messy, it is fun. Wee! <laughs> I don't know why, but every time I do it, it's still like just as fun as the first time I did it. <laughs> wee! Wee! Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. <laughs> that is amazing. That was so much fun. I knew that one was going to be fun, so I'm really glad I saved it till last. I'll definitely give it. This was a 10 for sure. It was lots of fun. It was a little bit messy, but as you're doing most of it in the box, it wasn't too messy. It's also kind of almost like a little game, trying to try and make shapes without actually physically, you know, moving something. So. Lots of fun, definitely 10 out of 10. Um, this is, yeah, this was great. I had so much fun making this video. Granted, some of the hacks weren't exactly how I thought they'd go, but I still had a lot of fun trying all these different things out. I mean, we were able to make little flowers just with a bottle. We made feathers with combs. We made a bunny rabbit with my hand. We made cool art using bubbles. We tried some quality of life hacks, which did technically work. We made circles using only a piece of cardboard. And finally, we made abstract art using a marble. My final thoughts on life hacks, some of them are actually life hacks. A lot of them are clickbait, trying to make money by people just watching the videos. But they are entertaining at the end of the day, so there's no harm in them really. Out of everything I've tried in this video, this little piece of cardboard is the one I'm going to be using pretty much every drawing. Every time there is a circle, your cardboard's coming out. And the best thing about this is you can make it as big or as, or as small as you want to. This is a genuine life hack, which to me means a quality of life improvement that you can use in your everyday life. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you like this video, please give it a like. If you really liked it, consider subscribing. And I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.